Today I want to show you how to import MIDI files. Import is an abbreviation for important because it's an important tool for creating new phrases. Uh, Kim, I think you got that wrong. So what? Who cares? Oh my god. Okay, if you have a single MIDI file that you want to examine as a whole, do a file import from any arrangement window. This is a list of all tracks in the file. Here you can include it or exclude tracks from the import. Disable harmonic content for tracks that contain drums or percussion. Check the settings for figure recognition here, if you choose to create figures during the import already. If you want to import drum patterns, tick this box. You can use your own sounds for import. Sinfire needs to know the sound for each track, and information that is sometimes not included with the MIDI file. To learn more about settings in detail, you can open the embedded help browser. When you import an arrangement, Sinfire creates one long phrase for each track. Figure recognition can thus take a very long time. When the import has finished, a new arrangement opens. Skim the long phrases for parts you want to keep. Select a robust grid first. Now select Arrange with the Span tool and do Command-E. This adds a new phrase to the arrangement's embedded library. Command-E makes a new phrase. Command-E makes a new phrase. When your library is complete, switch to the library page. Edit your phrases and save the library as a separate library file. That file can be opened on the sidebar of new projects. An entire track's worth of music is often too long and clumsy to be any useful for arranging new music. Also, there is a lot of repetition in a file that you don't need. It's much faster to import a file as static pitches and pick only the parts that make sense as a reusable phrase. For static pitches, tick this box. Do not create figures, but keep all takes. This can literally save you hours. These tracks now contain takes and harmony only. Skim the imported takes for phrases you want to keep. Select a robust grid. 
Now select Arrange with the Span tool and do Command E. This adds a new phrase to the Arrangements Embedded Library. Command E makes a new phrase. When you're done with all tracks, switch to the library page. Here you can run figure recognition on each phrase and clean it up. I will explain this in more detail in a separate video. And again, you can save the finished library as a file, so it can be opened on the sidebar for new projects. The most simple case is to import a single track of a MIDI file directly into a phrase. This is useful for melodies you want to harmonize, or instrumental parts you recorded and edited with a DAW. Isn't it beautiful? There are two ways to import into a library. First, you can import into the embedded library of your current arrangement using the library menu. That's fine if you want to use the new phrases in that arrangement only. Second, you can open a standalone library window and import files into that. That's best when you want to collect and organize phrases for later use. Import is a lot faster with static pitches. If you don't create figures or keep takes, you will import harmony only. When you import into a library instead of an arrangement, Synfire can split the tracks into phrase pools already and eliminate any repetition for you. This is convenient, but you can't control where exactly phrases are split. That's fine if you are looking for quick inspiration. If you want to retain full control, disable this switch. Keep the takes. You'll need them if you want to run figure recognition yourself. A master take includes the entire track. Keep it if you want to split phrases yourself. The imported phrases show up here. In another video I will show how to edit and optimize these phrases. When you are splitting hairs. Um, splitting phrases, not splitting hairs. Andre, you are splitting hairs now. When you are splitting phrases yourself, disable, create phrase pools. You can still ask Sinfire to do it for you. Just right click on the master take and choose a desired average phrase length. If you have more than a few files, you can import an entire folder. Batch import only works with a library. A downside of batch import is you can only adjust the settings for the first file. Synfire has to estimate settings for the remaining files automatically.
That's why batch import works best with static pitches or drum patterns, for which the settings are trivial. Static import is fast, but if you have hundreds of files, it still takes a while. Hunters and gatherers we are. What? Oh, I'm afraid you won't understand, sorry. Andre, let me do my job. Okay, sorry. The imported files show up as folders. This is a rough estimate how big a library file will be on disk. If this indicator turns red, you should split your library into smaller ones. After a huge batch import of May MIDI files, you will only keep a small fraction of the imported phrases. To keep libraries small, just move the phrases you want to keep over to a new empty library and discard the rest. Kim, did you notice that chatter about your looks lately? No. Well, I wonder what it will be like. I already know what it's like when humans are gossiping. Oh, I mean, you know what it is like to work with you in person. I'm not a person. Yes, I know, but... Uh, oh, Andre, keep cool. 